What's up, YouTube? Uh, here I have the Brownie Hawkeye. Uh, this is a rather old model. Uh, Grandma got it for me for $3, so it was really dirty, and I got a roll of film, and I decided I should probably try cleaning it, but I had issues finding any information online about how to do so. So what I did was, is uh, I did find a web page that kind of explained a little bit how to do it, but there was no video or any actual showing of how to do it. So I took the liberty of taking this $3 camera apart myself. Uh, I will say it wasn't nearly as easy as what I thought it would be. It was actually a lot more difficult. Uh, let's see. This piece that goes on here, there are these two screws up on top. They're going to be about yay long. They're only threaded about a centimeter, not even a centimeter. They were a pain in the ass to get out. Um, what I had to do was, I actually had to use this thing. Uh, it's a flathead, a small flathead. I had to get underneath it and hold it and then unscrew both of them. So they were a pain in the ass to get out. Uh, if you're worried about scratching it up, you're probably going to do it if yours was anywhere near as difficult as mine. These two here, the top one wasn't that difficult. Again, the same problem with the ones at the top. They didn't want to come out on their own, probably because this is like a 50 year old, 50 or 60 year old camera. Uh, this one down here was the same way. All four of them required the edges or uh, the flathead underneath the head of the, the screw to come out. Uh, what was strange was whenever I did get everything apart, everything it's pretty much right here. Uh, the mirror inside here, the prism, uh, you can't really see it, but it is fairly dirty. It needs to be cleaned. Uh, simple Windex will probably clean that up pretty good. Uh, everything else works fine. I am kind of worried about the the piece of glass that's behind behind the actual uh, lens or behind the uh, the shutter. Uh, it's a little dirty. I did look at it on the inside, but this is what I actually have inside here. Um, check this out. There's three glass elements in this camera, uh, two of which are the top prism, which is this guy right here, and then the actual, uh, the second part of the viewfinder. The, this part actually goes in the front of the camera, right inside there, and uh, that actually goes in the top. So it's two separate glass elements in a, in a mirror. That's three things that have to be cleaned in order just to look through it. So that's not even counting what, what the funniest part is. The front piece of the lens is this guy right here. And if you can see how dirty this is, it is ridiculously dirty and it's a piece of broken glass actually. Now whether this was taken apart and fixed previously, I did notice on my faceplate there were some scratches and things as if someone else had opened it up. Uh, it's like a broken slide. It looks exactly like a broken slide would. That's all it is. It's just a piece of glass, like a, a slide for a microscope. So I could probably actually get this sized and get another one cut if I really felt like it, but it's a $3 camera. So what I'm going to do is I got two different kinds of rubbing alcohol, and I have some cotton, cotton balls and cotton swabs, and I'm going to clean it up with that, and then I'm going to clean it with Windex and then reset everything. Uh, I do hope that this kind of helps with some people that are looking to do the whole analog thing with these old cameras and you know find one on eBay I mean you can find one of these guys on eBay for probably you know two dollars or something with some shipping so they take really cool pictures the bitch part is the films kind of expensive and they're a pain in the butt to clean but after you get everything taken out and cleaned I'm sure it'll take some pretty nice photos uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask me I'll be glad to try answering a uh, comment and rate Thanks.